Yo and Mike, buildassetsonline.com, answering another question. Have you ever added too many negative keywords to your Google Shopping campaigns? How do you avoid a drop in sales from adding the wrong negative keywords, Mike, or overdoing it on the negative keywords? This is a great question. I love Google focus questions when it comes to dropshipping because it means someone is actually doing something. They've actually turned their ads on. They're getting traffic, but this person is now seeing a drop in sales because they've done too many negative keywords. And so when it comes to negative keywording, this was something in the beginning we always would spend so much time on, like meticulously going through and doing all these negative keywords, when the truth is you really only, only need to do a few but what need, you need to do is do phrase match negative keywords. So if you're selling a rocking chair and you're showing up for rocking horse, <laughs> then the keyword, the, the, the solution is not to go through and pick out every single rocking horse thing you're showing up for. And maybe you're showing up for swing set and a whole bunch of, of BS, but you need to find that one problem word or phrase. And so in this case, you're selling a rocking chair, you're showing up for a rocking horse, just make a phrase match negative for the word horse. Or <laughs> <laughs> make a phrase match negative for the word swing. And so now you're narrowing in on what you're actually selling in the eyes of Google. And so it'll resolve itself pretty quickly. You don't need to go through hundreds and hundreds of negative keywords because what happens is people will then accidentally maybe negative out something they want or screw something up and then it does impact their sales. Right. So you only need a few powerful negative keywords to uh, but fix Mike, the problem. But Mike, what if they're looking for a rocking chair and horse combination and then you remove horse, then what happens? Well, that's when you need to really get uh, clear on what you're selling because then rocking horse could be, it could be a good keyword to show up for. But... What you would want to do, and this is really technical. What if you have one? What if you have one product that's a rocking chair, and then another product that's a rocking horse? Then what you would want to do is separate them out into different ad groups inside of Google. So one ad group you could have an, an ad group negative for the word horse, and so it would kick the horse <laughs> <laughs> out uh, into the proper ad group, and then in the rocking horse ad group you can kick out a uh, chair, right. and then it'll. So the chair is going to the porch and the horse is going to the stable. Exactly. So we would see oftentimes even with like um, branded keywords, if we were selling like a bunch of different brands, we had everything in one ad group. Products would show up for the wrong brands all the time. And this went on for years. And obviously, you know, we were running successful stores and like it wasn't killing us. But I didn't notice it until like I only, I only noticed it like maybe one or two years ago. And so I had to fix wow. that, and um, yeah, it happens. And that's uh, you, you have to consider, you know, are you doing a campaign negative keyword? Are you doing an ad group negative keyword? And um, just do things the right way. And so one or two really powerful negative keywords in the right place can totally fix your problem, and uh, you won't have a drop in sales. All right, that's deep. That's deep. So if you want to learn how we do this to build online asset portfolios, buildassetsonline.com slash playbook, watch the class, and take it easy. That's it. <laughs>